Did you know that there are different ways you can get data in Power BI? Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about the two different methods that you can use to get data in Power BI, import and direct query. All of that and more, so stay tuned. Hi, my name is Fernan from Solutions Abroad. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe to keep up to date with all the videos that I upload in this channel. So in this video, I want to talk about the two main methods that you can get data in Power BI, their benefits and limitations, as well as some scenarios of when you would use one or the other. And make sure you stick around to the very end, guys, because I'm going to be listing out three different ways you can improve your direct query performance. So let's talk about import. What is import? This is the default method you'll be using to get your data in Power BI. If you're using Power BI for the first time, most likely you're already using this. When you select Get Data in Power BI, you'll notice that sometimes you'll have an option to choose either Import or Direct Query. What Import does is that when you connect to your data, Power BI actually creates a copy of your data into Power BI memory. So when you're doing your reporting, Power BI is actually using the snapshot of your data that is in the Power BI memory, not on your source. This means that when your source data gets updated, you need to refresh your Power BI report in order to get the latest version of that data. Now, there are a couple of good reasons why it's better to keep the data in memory. One of them is performance. Because the data is stored in memory, Power BI doesn't need to go back to the source to get the data that you need, which can have performance implications depending on the size of the query or any connectivity issues you might have. Without all of these bottlenecks, Power BI gives us a report that is quick and responsive. The second reason is that this import method is supported in all the different types of sources. Now, if you look at this list of sources that we have in Power BI, you'll see that this list is a very lengthy list. And every month, I almost always see a new addition to this list. All of them use import method as default, which gives you a whole lot of options when it comes to choosing what type of data source you want to use. This method also lets you use the full capabilities of Power BI, which is DAX and Power Query. Now this gives you a lot of flexibility when it comes to performing complex calculations. Not only that, you can also get data from multiple sources and make them into a unified report. Now some considerations in mind when you're using the import method. There is a one gigabyte limit per data set in this method. But this is a compressed size, so just because your data source is more than a gigabyte doesn't mean that it's not compatible for this method. There are many ways that you can keep your dataset under one gigabyte, so just keep that in mind. Now let's move through the second way that you can get data into Power BI, which is direct query. So how this mode works is that instead of creating a copy of your data into the Power BI file, your data actually stays in the data source. This means that every time it needs to update a visual, Power BI actually writes a query to your source to get the data that it needs before it displays it to you. Now you would use this type of connection if the refresh times of the import method does not work for you or is not frequent enough for your purposes. It's also good for large datasets because direct query doesn't have the same one gigabyte limitation as the import method does. Like import, you should also think about the following considerations when you're thinking of using direct query with your reports. Direct query performance is generally slower than the import method. Now this is because every time Power BI updates a visual, Power BI creates a visual and sends it to the source. It waits for the source to send back the results and then displays it to the report. And a query is generated every time you interact with your reports. Now, as you can see, this can even get worse, especially if you have a large data set or if you're having any connectivity issues. Another limitation that we have in the right query is that the data in your data set can only come from the same source. So if you remember from the import method, we can bring in data from different data sources, transform them into a unified report. Well, in direct query, you can't do that. And another thing about direct query is that you're severely limited when it comes to using Power Query or DAX transformations. So if you're using direct query in Power BI, a general rule of thumb is that you should do your transformations from the source. So those are the two methods of getting your data in Power BI. For general reporting purposes, where you'll be needing to get data from different data sources and needing to do some transformations on them, the import method will be the best for you. However, if you have larger datasets or require a more frequent dataset refresh, then the direct query is the best for you. 
Now, as promised, let's go through some of the ways that you can improve your direct query performance in your reports. First thing that you can do is query reduction. You can find this under file, options, query reduction under current file. Now you have several options that you can choose from here. And these options are mainly to control the amount of queries that you're sending back and forth between your source and your Power BI file. Now, if you've worked with Power BI reports before, you'll notice that every time you select a filter, charts and tables in your page automatically update. Well, what happens on the back end is that every time you do this action, Power BI generates those queries for every visual in your page to update the data. Now, imagine if you have a lot of visuals in the page, this would mean Power BI will need to create multiple queries and could slow your performance if you have big data sets. Now, if you select cross filter or cross highlight, this will disable this feature by default. You can still select which visuals in your report you want to cross filter, just gives you more control on which ones do. You can also opt to add apply buttons to your slicers and visuals. This way, Power BI will only send queries back to the source when you hit the apply button. This is instead of doing it instantly when you select slicers and filters. Now, another way to improve your direct query performance is by using a setting called Assume Referential Integrity. Basically just makes your queries and relationships more efficient. Just note that this feature is only available in direct query mode and it has a couple of requirements for it to work properly. First is that your from column in the relationship can't have nulls or blanks. The second is that the values in your from column has to have a value in the to column. And that's all I have for you guys. If you enjoy this type of content, please leave a like to this video. It will really help me grow this channel and reach more people. Please leave a comment if you have any suggestions or feedback on this video. It will really help me improve the quality of these videos in the future. Lastly, if you want to get in touch, I'm leaving my email address as well as my social media links in the description box below. Thanks for watching and I hope I see you again next time.